Hi guys, so in today's video, we got a update for Marvel Strike Force. Oh yeah. Now, as it's loading at the bottom right, and you can see it's just downloading or updating the software updates. Now, you can see there's a new screen cover. There's a few characters, and from what I read in the updates, there's Morbius. There's Kate Bishop. Um, there's a few others. Now, it looks like Bishop's got a new look. Uh, that's X-23, Elsa Bloodstone, not sure who that is, probably Jubilee. But let me just uh, collect the items. One, two, and three. Okay, I want to quickly skip on that one. And, okay, just turn the music off and sound effects. Really great sound effects and music, by the way. I just don't want to talk over it because then it might take the power away. Now, unfortunately, I wasn't able to do or perform so well as you know, this raid was fine. I wasn't too good either on it, but with the update, busy day and lots going on. Um, you can see when you got over the 60% mark, you get um, rewards based on your tiers and your, your overall rank. In, in this case, I came 10th, which is not good, but it is what it is. Right. So, okay, that. Okay. So there's going to be quite a few updates at the bottom right of the screen. So that's because uh, there's been a few changes. And okay, we'll start off with just want to check on the milestones. Yeah, unfortunately, I did miss out on the high roller, so I can't level up my Icarus to the way I'd like to have had in that one day's worth. But it is what it is. Anyways, let's go to the inbox. It's going to tell us about you know new updates going on. So the first one, uh, this one is to get Ebony Moor. So if you want to get Ebony Moor, it tells you here you need Black Bolt. Okay, let's just double check. Black Order Allies, Ebony Moor, Grand Street. Okay, yeah, so this one's Ebony Moor. Now, to get him, you need Black Bolt and, well, the Inhumans in this case. And, yep, double check that. Yeah, you need the Inhumans teams. So, whenever there's an event, usually for legendaries, the characters that you can get through campaigns, they normally double up the shards. Always be mindful for that. Luckily, I got my Ebony Moor maxed out to seven stars. So it's all done on my end. All right, next one. Okay, there's been an update. So it's basically saying all of this. Let's just quickly read through. So four new characters. Okay, the, the following are Echo, Kate, Bishop, Morbius. Oh, sorry, Kate, Bishop, Morbius, and Dr. Voodoo. Now, Morbius and Kate Bishop are two names that I'm familiar with in phase four of the MCU. And then more the TV shows. So I won't ruin it too much, but Kate Bishop, she's to do with um, uh, Hawkeye. So she's the, you know, um, I wouldn't say sidekick, but that's probably the best I can explain uh, to um, Hawkeye. Friends, whatever you'd like to say. Morbius, that's quite cool because um, as far as I believe, that's the Morbius that was in the TVA um, in Loki. So he was like the main guy. So that was Woody Harrelson. I'm sure that's the guy's name, the actor. But that's what the Morbius is, I believe. Dr. Voodoo, I'm not too sure. But he sounds like a, you know, uh, a counter to Dr. Strange. Maybe they're just doctors that just want to help each other out. Dr. Doom, Dr. Strange and Dr. Voodoo. Anyway, so we've got that. So ability and stat improvements for Elsa Bloodstone, Ghost Rider and Baron Mordo. Oh, that's good. That's really good. So Supernaturals are getting better. America Chavez. Miss Marvel and Squirrel Girl. Okay, the last two, yeah, that's definitely great. New costumes for Jubilee. Yes, yeah, so I was right about Jubilee. Uh, Bishop and Killmonger. Oh, Killmonger. Oh, that's going to be amazing. Doctor Voodoo event co campaign and the Heroes Haunting. Okay, so yeah, we're going to see this over the next few days anyway. So we'll we'll keep on top of that. That's quite good. So Echo joins the fight. So we can see that's Echo. Um, for more details, check out her new character spotlights in English only on YouTube. Okay, so that's, that's that. Yeah, for red stars, you get it at level 42 plus for it to take into effect. Cool. Okay, campaign energy and all that. Let's claim this. Quickly go through the other ones. Claim that. Next one. Very nice. Okay. First time difficulty. Okay, so that means I've done it for the first time. Oh, nice. 210 ability materials. Claim that. Okay. Oh, we're getting loads in this. Okay, uh, I came 19th. Again, that's because of the update and a busy day. Got a very few busy days coming up, so bear with me. And yeah, okay. So let's just get straight into some of the basics. 
Oh, I could have got red seven red stars on Kesha as well. Uh, unfortunately, because it was in the supply store, but I didn't go for it. All right. Anyway, so let's go. Squeeze cyborg. Max this guy out. Okay, nothing there. Unfortunately, scroll this down. Go back. I'm gonna do for villains united. I'm gonna do Apollo. Okay, and that's sorry, not Apollo. Ice, Iceman. Sorry, it's because one of my um, older uh, alliance members was Apollo, and he had this on the screen, so I just remembered it as Apollo. That's my bad. Okay. Shout out to Apollo if you're watching this video. Okay, so let's keep going. I'm only trying to do this because it's based on timers. Uh, Mystique, let's get the maxed out on any of these. Just for synergy energies, that's great. Okay, I just want to get this below the above mark. That's that's perfect. Okay, let's go supply store. Scroll through the list. Yep, definitely want the augmented performance tracker. Uh, anything with the green dot on the top means that you need it for a character or that there is a character that can potentially use it. The item that's um, showing. This one's a nice little cheap one. Might as well get that. Helps you get three items a day and you don't spend as much currency that is required. And you make a bit of an investment. Okay, now as there is an update, just because I've got Misty Knight doesn't mean that there might not be new characters. I doubt it, but it's normally in order. Uh, yeah, all these characters I've got. There's no new ones there. Uh, yep, same again. Okay, cool. We're getting a lot of these shards and I'm trying to maximize my seven stars. We are getting close to the full 100% of my entire roster. And just have to make sure I'm being thorough. Okay, getting through. Okay, that's fine. Oh, okay. What's this? Yes, that's the perfect outfit. Yes, Killmonger looks amazing now. That's exactly how he looks in the movies. Wait a minute. I can get it. I'm doing it. I'm just going it. 100%. I'm not even going to think twice about that. That was perfect. That's his second outfit. 100% like that. Yeah, okay. Uh, I will equip this. Now, the original one is this one. It is good. It's slightly boring. It's not It's not too bad. It's just the mask. Obviously, it's a great mask. I understand there's a great relevance towards it. But compared to this outfit, there's not even a question. So, yeah. That's the first time I spent any costume credits. Um, yeah, happy with that one. Oh, classic Captain America. Oh, that's interesting. Because Captain America is one of my favorite characters in the films. Oh, nice, nice. That's a great start, so... This is how he currently looks. So yeah, that's a great look anyway, the standard one. Captain America is one of my favorites. There's two types of shields. Okay, that's fine. Um, I probably will claim that one, but not definitely until I see that there's more. You know what? Captain America, I loved you, and I'm going to get that. There we go. That's two. Okay, that's, that's yeah, <laughs> two great outfits. So let's just claim the daily objectives that we've got. Don't forget, Deathpool is in the strike pass right now. So, to claim her shards, do your daily objectives, regardless of how high your amount is in the day. Just get your strike pass, max it out. Okay, roster. Sorry. Um. Oh yeah, roster. That's the one. Now, what you do is when you got your characters at the stop, uh, top. Um, like these guys got hearts, meaning that they are towards the top. And then it's set numerically, strongest to weakest. And my weakest in my starred characters is my current one, it's magic. This one, yeah. It's gonna load because there's a um, update in the game. So that character. Now, from there, it goes from my Captain Marvel all the way down, numerically all the way down. Now, as we go down, if I just keep going all the way down to the bottom or scroll to the side, you'll get the new characters. So these characters, and I am seeing this for the first time, Whenever there's an update, there's always new characters. There's always going to be the added ones at the bottom. Star Lord T'Challa, that's the one I don't have. He's been available all in the roster for a little while, so there's nothing new. Mega Red. Yep, I'm going to get him eventually. 
He's a legendary character. And Dr. Voodoo. I have never come across him. I don't know what series he's part of. And that's quite cool. Okay, so it says, yeah, on the top right, hero. He looks like a villain, but, you know, got an interesting outfit. Okay, so he's a hero. He's global. Support Mystic Dark Hunter. That's different. And Spirit Slayer. We'll come to that in a bit. We can check the filter soon. But this is definitely interesting. It's probably going to change the game quite a bit now. Different tactics, different teams, different all sorts. Okay, Dormammu. So obviously he's Dark Dimension 5. The, the main not the end. I'm surprised that he's only got a few stats. So he's villain, cosmic, mystic and support. He's supposed to be one of the strongest. Obviously you can only there's only a handful of people who's got it. Um, okay. This is Echo. Okay, so she is hero, global, skill brawler, and young Avenger. Okay, that's yeah. Okay, so that yeah, that's Kate Bishop, hundred percent. That is um, the sidekick or whatever for Hawkeye, hundred percent. It'd be good if she actually has a good synergy with Hawkeye. But as you can see, it's a young Avenger. It's going to be in a synergy for that. And as the last one we saw was Echo. She's a young Avenger. There's going to be a team between them two. It just seems that way. Okay, so let's just go back now. Okay, so I lack one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Double check, yeah, that's seven. Seven characters um, in the entire roster. So if I go back to the uh, my user profile on the top, it says I've got out of 186 collected, there's seven more, basically. And out of those 186 I've got, I've got 121 at max, seven yellow stars. Okay, so that's quite a bit on this. And let's claim these energies. One. Oh, I needed that one. Not energies, like the orbs. Okay, I'm going to go to my supplies. Collect that, orbs. I thought I misread that then. I thought it dropped. Okay. Hmm. Okay, so there's some potential getting um, red star orbs for Echo. But I don't know enough to want to use it yet. Let's open up basic orbs. Ronin. Uh, gold orb. Let's open up all nine. Oh, nice. It's nice. Okay. So I've got one million. It'll say the notification at the bottom. It's not too bad a start on the video. And... Yeah, the rest will ignore those ones because they're not important. Okay, and yeah, I think that covers enough for these ones. I'll just go silver promotion credits. Yeah. Kestrel was seven stars and it was available, but I didn't go for it because I don't have enough shards. Plus Kestrel might drop down in her um in her let's just say greatness. Uh, I doubt it because people are saying that she's still great, but I don't know. Um, normally in the game, the, the characters are pretty good for quite a while, but then after a while it just gets stagnant, uh, in my opinion, or experience, but let's see. Um, anyway, so when it comes to the milestones for the high roller, we know we haven't spent anything. So if I go roster and just go on Icarus only, and I just start equipping as much as I can, I can see who else uses these um, items. Let's just equip that. Yeah, that's one. I'm going to equip the big one because that's normally uh, going to have biggest uh, stat increases. So if we just do this. So this one's always the highest. And uh, this one's medium. This one's fairly high. Uh, yeah, in this case in health. Let's just do that. That one's going to be pretty much the same. Let's just do that. And you can see who else is going to be using these items. So now we know this, these two, which can't be fulfilled because it says find. Now I know this is the item that I like. So I need to start looking and investing into this. And okay, there's a campaign version, which is really good. Because you can just apply for it through that. Or in this case, war supplies. Now I can get four more and I think I will. So yeah, that's one way to get it quicker. Okay, and then if I go back, yeah, just checking these. If I go back to the um, uh, yeah, to the stats for Icarus and go to the bottom. I'm sure it's going to be the same thing because normally it shows the same lot. 
So in this case, I can press find. I can go to the the do more uh, mission, auto win this, and just press 50 to use energy refills times 100. Yep, I only got one, unfortunately, but you can get that and add more items for the exact same thing. But keep doing it, keep doing it, and then once you get these two full, in this case, it could help me get my Icarus to level, sorry, tier 15. So I'll take that into account. Okay, next. Um. Okay, so what we're going to do is just quickly show what um what missions to do, what objectives are going on. So in this case, Alliance Raids, let's see what we've got. So we've got two um, Alliance Raids going on. Press join. Yeah, there's already a lot of damage already been dealt. That's great. So I'm room three. I'm on the right hand side, so you have to press join. I'm in room three only. I can't go into any other room. So I can jump over here. But then if I miss out on the first two, this one here, and that one there, our alliance gets less overall coverage and percentage. And on top of that, if I go back, the overall raid progress gets um, lowered because I'm just like cheating the system, not helping them. I'm just, it's just selfish, to, to be honest. Um, you want to help the team. So even though this one says 2.56 million, the next one up says 3.16. Um, I know mathematically it's better to go for the higher number, but for the team, it's not better so you have to work as a team so I have to start from the beginning so launch this one it's for global characters only let's press launch uh let's get the right team get rid of mr sinister at baron zemo he's one of my favorites he's pretty good magneto with his really big orbs going on right there get rid of Evan frost swap with jubilee and i honestly don't know what magneto's doing but he looks super charged yep I doubt that's actually supposed to be like that. But you saw it on the screen. Yeah, let's get it on. Okay, so this is for the alpha raid now. Okay, keep going, let it load. Okay, so basically whenever there's an update in the game, you just have to be a bit patient. On the bottom right of the screen, it says how many megabytes are required to download for the update when it goes up to the max should start the fight and there we go let's put that on speed three yeah Baron Zemo with a great start always go for Loki first if it's in this case because if he does his first attack and defense down on one of your um your members of your team you're pretty much screwed in this case I might not be able to attack him because he's got a dodge yeah just go for him yeah Next, uh, go for anyone. You can either go for Crossbones, Thor, or Captain America because they've got the best defense. I want to go Thor. Just work one side in. Okay, Magneto, and do that big attack. Yep, blinded them. That's good. Okay, Baron Zemo with the wipe. Very nice. And Captain America. Okay, so we're equally getting them down. Now, I can attack, just do standard attack or a big attack on Doctor Strange. Get rid of him because he can actually revive characters. You don't want that. Uh, go for Bullseye, just clear it out. Del um, Daredevil, just clear these guys out now. Gamora. You want some more? Okay, that's fine. Remember, every time when you verse Mordol, um, what happens is he gained some health yeah and plus the fact that there's been an update on the supernaturals team which is great because they do deserve a lot more uh damage um and impact in the game it's nice to see that there's been a benefit for them okay let's go there okay cool so yeah that's the first one you just keep basically repeating those processes you'll be fine and let's just go there the good thing about the stronger raids, especially in this new alliance, is that you get to see the big benefits, like the amount of raid key credits I've got. It's just, it's just insane, raid credits, sorry. Okay, so that's gone down in 10 energies. I can do the same again in Doom 1, but I'll cover that in the next video because it'll be too long a video otherwise. And for now, um, 
there's a war going on and yeah okay i think the best thing i can do um oh sorry uh chaos theory that's when when you get gold and silver promotion credits you need to get your wakandans maxed out which i have luckily go to preview when the when the um when the event goes on i can claim the biggest one seven red star seven gold stars sorry um for this you know uh red promotion credits for your your characters at the bottom where the stats increase for the red stars same for the uh, silver ones that's gonna be good i'll cover that when the event comes up hopefully which is in just about two days yeah make sure you work on that one now back to the main screen and i'll show the alliance wall let's just see who we're reversing okay echo giving a cheeky look with the moon big moon very very big moon okay nice now let it load okay loki's legion we're gonna smash you up okay now as you can see there's a red target on the first room and as it's flashing red means two people are attacking these are four green no one's attacking there let's go flight deck one the room two two people are attacking so we can see what's going on here and that's a shield officer team so obviously it's quite easy to see why they're going for this team because this one's easy the second one fairly straightforward okay i just want to see out of interest why flight deck two is not being cho chosen yeah that's not a hard room yeah that's just a straightforward room and flight deck three what have we got yeah okay so it makes sense the first room is the easiest one i agree with that but flight deck two is easier so from a points point of view you won't get much for doing the shield officer teams but as an alliance you need to work out on overall points instead of individuals obviously there is an mvp uh given but that's just a individual thing so you can either work on it in that way but it's best to work in a team and and an individual one at the same time but yeah anyways inhumans are the account for this uh, the count for your Avengers team, your Wave 1 Avengers, which is the one that came in the literally in the MCU films. That includes Thor. He's not included on this one because there's only five characters max in a team. Um, so for this team, you just need a stronger team. Um, most teams can counter that without too much of an issue. Stronger teams usually help. And if you have got the same characters on this team and yours are stronger 99% of the time, you should win provided you beat one character at a time and whenever there's healers or uh, those that clear or get rid of uh, negative effects those are the ones you attack first okay if i just got back flight deck two that one's straightforward this is most teams again this is without the knowledge of an update there might be other things so yeah shield team use the power tech which is your iron man vision war machine Falcon and Iron, well, Iron Hearts one, and then there's um, oh, okay, the can't remember the name now, off the top of my head, Iron Hearts, and yep, yeah, the one basically Iron Man's wife, can't remember her name at the top of my head. In humans again, X Force on this one. Uh, this team, that's just a random team. It's not really a team, so it's pretty much any team that goes and beats that's fine black order that's not a proper emma raw team because it's minerva that's a bit of a silly version of it um black order could be done um symbiotes black order or symbiotes x force so yeah you got some basic counters on these teams there's nothing strong um x-men team would be good on that one uh that's not a real proper team that's just a brotherhood team and an emma orders so yeah black order or strong mutants really yeah it's pretty much a similar pattern yeah most people do the same sort of rooms first so yeah so these three rooms i've covered in the other ones this one you need the infinity watch team anyways for now i think that's enough for the counters i think we've got two extra points given or several points given these teams have been attacked okay yeah so what we're going to do is we're going to work out on attacking these teams and i'll cover that in the next video hopefully if there's anything that i can cover i don't want to make the video too long but anyways um i'll leave it at that for now 
um, a lot going on. So we'll cover more on the characters in the upcoming videos as we progress in the game. For now, thank you guys for watching. Please share my videos. Please like my videos and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you guys for watching. Over and out. Oh yeah. Oh, and the Black Order uh, and the Wakandan team. You beat them with the Wakandans. Over and out. Oh yeah. Yeah.